Hi, today we are making a beautiful honeycomb uh, pillow cover. This gives a beautiful thick fabric. We need a um, four millimeter F5 crochet hook. We need two skeins of Ice Yarns multicolor. Uh, I'll put a link to the yarn in the description box so you can um, click on the link if you want the same yarn as I have. Uh, you can also use another kind of yarn. Just um, pick a hook size, one size bigger than recommended on the yarn label. You need a pillow. I used one um, 11 by 11 inches. So you can do that or you choose one of your choice. We start the pattern with a single crochet foundation chain. And this chain needs to be as long as your pillow is wide. So if your pillow is 13 inches wide, you make a single crochet foundation chain for 13 inches. And for this video, I use an, another yarn and another hook size so you can see better what I'm doing. So yeah, let's get started. We start with a single crochet foundation chain. So make a slip knot and chain two. One, two, insert your hook in the first stitch you made, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. And normally you would uh, yarn over, pull through two, but we're making a foundation chain, so we yarn over, pull through one. So this is your um, foundation chain. And now we are making the single crochet. So yarn over, pull through two. So we make a chain and a single crochet in one. So we put our needle in the chain we just made. Yarn over, pull through. So we make a, uh, a chain. And now we are making the single crochet. So yarn over, pull through two. We have now have chain two is our first. And we make two, we've made two foundation stitches so far. So this was our chain. So we put in our needle, our hook under those two loops at the bottom. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one. If you find it difficult to find this stitch, to put in your hook the next uh, the next stitch you can pinch it down with your fingers so you can recognize it or you can um, put in a stitch marker so you can always find the place to put your hook so we make the single crochet yarn over pull through two okay insert your hook in the chain you just made yarn over pull through two Yarn over, pull through one. Hold this chain with your fingers and yarn over, pull through two. Okay, insert in the stitch you just made. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through one. Hold, hold this chain. Yarn over, pull through two. And you put your hook in the stitch you held between your fingers. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through one, and through two. Set your hook in the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. I need a little bit more yarn. Insert your hook again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, Yarn over, pull through two. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need one more for this swatch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through one to make your chain. Yarn over, pull through two to finish your single crochet. So we now have a little 
single crochet foundation chain to start our pattern with so we need to chain one turn our work and now we are working in the let me see in the bottom loops six seven eight nine and ten so we're picking up we are picking up this bottom loop and we are picking up the front loop of your top stitch so you've got your stitches here your little v's and we're picking yeah, the front one the first so go from top to bottom under picking up this horizontal bar coming up and pick up the front loop of your stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two let's do that again and this first um, row is uh, the most difficult one because how further you work yourself up how easier uh, it is to see which stitch you need to pick up so we go down to the bottom horizontal bar the and we go from bottom to top and from bottom to top through the front loop so we have two loops on our hook three actually yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two we made two stitches we need some more so from bottom to top through the horizontal bar and from bottom to top to the through the front loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two from bottom to top through the bottom bar horizontal bar and from bottom to top through the front loop of your stitch yarn over pull through two again from the bottom to the top through the horizontal bar and from the bottom to the top through the uh, front loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two let's do it again from the bottom to the top and from bottom to the top to through the front loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two set your hook From the bottom to the top and to the top through the front loop yarn over pull through two okay last two and the last one through the bottom bar horizontal bar and the front loop of your stitch okay and your row is done uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's correct. So we have ten stitches. Let's move on to row two. Yarn over. Uh, chain one. Turn your work. And now we are picking up the bottom horizontal bar and the front loop again. So the bottom and the front loop, bottom bar, front loop bottom bar front loop and all from bottom to top so here's one here's your horizontal bar so put your stick your hook in from bottom to top and from bottom to top through your front loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two again this is your horizontal bar Put in your needle, insert your hook, and insert your hook through the front loop. And finish your double crochet. Horizontal bar, insert your hook, insert your hook, and yarn over. And finish your single crochet. Horizontal bar, insert your hook, insert your hook. 
through the front loop, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two. You see a little bit of the pattern coming, but we are moving on. So the bottom loop and the front loop, yarn over, pull through. Bottom loop, top loop, yarn over, finish a single crochet, horizontal bar at the bottom, and the front loop. And this is One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten again. That's exactly what we need. So yarn over, chain one, and turn your work. And now we um, we have row four, and from row four it becomes much easier because we can see the horizontal bars in the middle here and this is in every next row this is the case in every next row so you insert your hook in the first horizontal bar in the front loop and this you do this for the rest of the row so insert your hook in the first horizontal bar and in the first front loop Yarn over and finish a single crochet. So we no longer go to the bottom, but we pick up pick up the middle stitches, mid middle horizontal bars. Now working up this row, you can see on the other side that a new row of horizontal bars is is creating by working this row so every row is the same from now on just work your way through your rows sometimes help the the yarn with your finger to make it a bit easier and you don't really have to count anymore but sometimes it's uh, it's nice to um, to be sure you have the same amount of stitches as you start with so we made a row four chain one turn your work and we see that that there is another row of horizontal bars we need to use for our next row so insert your hook one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine and the last we need to pull it a little bit the last stitch number 10 and another row is done and you see how beautiful this pattern works up it just looks like a honeycomb so that's why this pattern is called the honeycomb pillow Okay, so far, so you uh, keep working until your work is uh, high enough. So the, the, the length of your pillow, so the length is 11 inches, you need to work up 11 inches. If your work is, uh, uh, your pillow is uh, 25 inches, you work up 25 inches. So, and you do this uh, twice, so you have a front uh, panel and a back panel. 
and um, I'll show you later on how to uh, how to uh, stitch to those two together. So there we have a complete pillow. So I finished my two panels and now it's time to make a border so we can attach them easy together. So what you're gonna do is single crochet all around the edges. So, so this side and this side, all four sides, single crochet in every single crochet and a single crochet in every row. Uh, in the corners you make uh, three single crochet. So in the corner three single crochet and the others just one single crochet in every single crochet or in every row. And you do that around both panels and then I'll meet you back. So I'm done with my single crochets all around. It's time to single crochet them together. Uh, you can bind off one panel and leave the yarn attached and the other panel so we can use that to single crochet the two panels together. How do we do that? We just insert your hook in the fabric of the front panel and insert your hook on the same spot the back panel and this one e come on yes and make a single crochet so insert your hook in the front panel and insert your hook in the back panel and make a single crochet again the front and the back finish your single crochet to the front through the back and the single crochet to the front and the back and finish like a normal single crochet to the front through the back so repeat this at three sides, then put your pillow in and then close the last side. So three sides, single crochet, and then the fourth side, you, you, can, you keep it open, put in your pillow and then close it up with the pillow in it. When I finished three sides, of this uh, of this pillow I'll meet you back I've just put in my pillow so all the other sides are closed it's a little bit difficult to film this because my camera can't zoom out anymore so I closed three sides and only the fourth side I have left so we need to close this up to finish this pillow. So my pillow is in it. And then we move on the same way we did the other three sides. So in the front panel and through the back panel. And a single crochet through the front, through the back and a single crochet. We do this all the way to the end, make a slip stitch in the first single crochet, bind off and weave in your ends, and your pillow is done. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you like to see more videos. And for the rhythm pattern, you can go to my blog. The link is in the description box down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!